In today's presentation, we are going to talk about our hydrogen fuel powered product and service. This is an innovative product which we aim to introduce to Tata Motors supply chain network and other automobile companies. This is our overview of the elements that we're all going to be covering throughout the presentation. Thank you. Our mission to use hydrogen powered drones to transform Tata Motors supply chain network. Vision, transform, transform the, the sophisticated Tata Motor supply chain by making it simple, effective, using modern, modern emission, durable and strong drones. This will help us increase our revenue. As you can see from this map, India is one of the biggest countries in the world with 29 states. Tata Motors manufacturing plants are spread all, located all over eight states, as marked in red on the map. The distance between the plants is five to six hours flying time. The current battery-powered drone has a flying capacity of two hours. However, with our new hydrogen fuel power drone, we will, have, we will achieve the maximum flying time, as hydrogen fuel is three times powerful than other fuels, meaning we will, have complete, we will accomplish much using less. We will be able to save on the cost, we will run an efficient and effective operations from plant to plant. Product overview. As you can see from this picture, our hydrogen fuel power, power drone is smarter, is strong, able to and capable of providing a fast, cost-effective and efficient service, has the cap capability and ability of carrying and delivering small to maximum sized parts from suppliers to our manufacturing plants, and it, they can be used from for our internal use within plants to plants. Thank you. Now I'm going to be talking about value proposition. And um, firstly, the jobs that Tata Moto expects or they're, uh, they're, they're currently doing or what they, yeah, what they, ex what they expect um, within the automobile industry. So they expect efficient just-in-time system and they also want cost efficiency within um, their um, procurement. They also want quick response to market demand um, in any production that they do. And they also want environmentally friendly technology. So at the moment, what are the pains within Tata Moto? So they have high cost of supply, and um, they have just this is not just within Tata Motor to be honest with you. The high carbon emission is within the automobile industry, hence, why you have hybrid cars and you have um, electric cars coming through at the moment. And um, then, yeah, you have different cars coming through just to cut down um, emission, and also the pains that they have. In general, automobiles car have in general they have several parts which um, also makes the supply chain very complex. And um, after talking about the pains that the automobile have and Tata Moto have, let's come back to what would they gain from using our products. Okay, so. Tata Moto and our other customers will gain saving costs and increasing their revenue. How would they um, increase their revenue? They would increase the, um, add their revenue by re replacing human labour with machine, which would be less stressful within their supply chain, the management rather of their supply chain. And um, what jobs? will our products do and um, what jobs are we 
um, going to be doing rather what jobs are we going to do as a company we will be providing operational drone vehicle to supply small parts and we'll be using hydrogen fuel to reduce the emission we will also improve current processes and technologies to, um, to achieve maximum efficiency and um, the other process that we're talking about with our product is what pain would our product reduce within the automobile or should I say for our customers so the pains that our products will reduce it would save cost of inventory and storage space this is by delivering parts only when it's needed and we'll also be using, like I said again, we'll be using hydrogen powered hybrid technology which reduces carbon emission. And we will eliminate supply chain complexity because um, like I said, um, within the um, automobile industry, there's so many parts um, that they use to build a car. So with our drone, it would eliminate some of that okay some of the process and the gains for using our um, products will be operational safety and lowering the risk it would help with operational safety increase operational safety rather and lowering the risk in the process of um, manufacturing the car and it also will increase inventory management by using drone vehicle. I'm going to talk about the business model of our project. Our key partners will be Indian government and Boeing because Tata is already making drones with Boeing. So that's why we found we don't need to go through somebody to buy a drone or to make somebody to make drone for us. So we are using our existing our resources with Boeing and the key activities for our business model is it is first of all we have to build the new drones and then we have to establish hydrogen fuel plant in 29 states in India and we need to have a software development team to develop the software for the drones for the key resources um, we, we we need to have a drone um, manufacturing facilities, hydrogen fuel um, plant, software development team. Also, already Tata have their hydrogen fuel powered car. So that will be a, a kind of resources for our hydrogen fuel plant to be used. For value proposition, I would like to highlight only zero emission for the environment because of our hydrogen fuel, which will give us a competitive advantage from our competitors and which will give Tata um, a great value to build up relationship with Indian government and environmental people. For our project, um, how we will deliver our product? So, uh, means channels. So we will have our um, existing customers whom we can advertise in person. And then we will um, arrange meetings and we will make proposal for the customers. How we will build a customer relationship? We're not gonna look for one-to-one -one customer relationship. We will uh, do consultant with the customers. We will sell our product to the customers with services so that the customer who will take our product will come back and we will have a good relation with them. Um, for customer segments, our customers will be our own Tata um, hydrogen fuel car which we already have and then we will have as our customer automobile industry and we, we will have um, air industry <coughs> cost and revenue um, is for every drone 
uh, we will have to spend 75,000 um, <coughs> pounds. Um, if we buy drone from uh, from the current drone makers, uh, we found that like currently they charge 90,000 90, to 100,000 K. Um, as cost structure, we have to spend 75,000 pound for to make each drone currently if we go to buy um a drone from drone makers which will cost 90 to 100 thousand pound also we have to establish hydrogen fuel plant and how we will uh, make the revenue is we will reduce significant procurement and supply cost um, and this will increase profitability by 10% in each year. This as an organization, it is very paramount that we build a safe and reliable drone so our customers can trust us. As this is because hydrogen fuel is volatile and ignites with very, very little heat. So we need to ensure that the handling risk are minimized this is why we, we have the quality control team collaborate with the health and safety team to ensure that we provide, um, we provide training to, for, to all our clients and we also have um, regular, um, regular maintenance check within all our stations in India because it's very, very vital that we build an efficient, robust, and reliable drone for our clients. So the safety of our drone is very important. One of our, and um, as we continue with the key activities, we also need to make sure we um, constantly maintain um, good contracts with our key suppliers. Our suppliers are very important to us which is why we rely on our suppliers. And as an organization, we aim to maintain an excellent relationship with them by sharing in knowledge and collaborating with them. To provide a safe and reliable drone, we will also need to build software technology from scratch. So what we will do, we will do this by using Tata Motors in-house software development team. Because with software or technology as a whole, you know there's wear and tear. So we will, we will need to develop, um, we need to continuously develop new, um, up to continuously update new software for our drones. So it's something that we will need to keep doing. Um, so it enable, hence why we have the in, um, Tata Motors in-house. And finally, we'll need to obtain license from local authorities to use our drone commercially. As we all know, drones are the new innovative revolution. And um, we constantly have to ensure we um, you know, we have integrated software technology for our drones, whether we need to update the technology for the drones. And if we do have to update the technology for the drones, we have to ensure we um, abide by the regulatory body of India, which sometimes, um, which most of the time would include that. Most of the time, it, it, we will need to ensure we have licensing agreement with authorities and government to ensure that we could um, use the drones or the, the update software that we've applied with our, our drones. Cost and revenue. So in India, Tata has 10 um, manufacturing plant. For 10 manufacturing plant, we have decided to make 200 drones. Every drone will cost 75,000 pounds to produce, uh, to make and then we have to have 200 drones so the total cost to make the drones will be 15 million pounds and then we have to develop the software for these drones which will cost 1 million so 
for the first year we will have 16 million pound as cost so by using this drone every drone from every drone we will have a net profit of 100k million so from 200 um, drones we will have a gross profit of 20 million per year for the first year we will have 5 million net profit but after the after first year we will have um, a more profit because first year we gonna we are deducting the cost that we had to spend we had to spend for the for drone um, production and then that's how we come to we, we found like in five years Tata will have 85 million pounds as net profit only because of this drone technology um, for their supply chain now I have I need to say something about the hydrogen fuel plant we we are not bringing hydrogen fuel plant in this cost structure is because of from the hydrogen fuel plant we are using nearly 25% of the fuel only for our drone the rest of the fuel we need to um, use for our own hydrogen fuel car and also the rest we will have our customer um, the automobile industry other drone users and um, aerospace so that's how our hydrogen fuel plant will have a different business model um, and, and that will actually not affect at all for um, our drone project and the rest we we, we, we have our customer automobile industry the other our hydrogen vehicle users and um, um, the air industry also um, because we will have a different business model for our hydrogen fuel plant and this hydrogen fuel plant um, this will not affect to our drone project at all hi i'm going to talk about the technology synergy so as we know hydrogen fuel is expensive than other fuels we have found it to have our own hydrogen fuel to reduce costs so having tata uh, motor already providing hydrogen fuel for example with the tata uh, magic irish Z um, ziva fuel cell vehicle this would make it um, production possible and effectively because tata motor already provides that facility so it'll be easier for us to get into that tata are currently making drones that way we are paying Tata Motor to make the drones with the existing partners. This is because they can use their current resources facilities having already been provided. We are confident that our partnership will be able to deliver high quality production in India. Slides. So, um, definitely increased growth, I would say. So. We are not going to use all the fuel on drones. We will use 25% of it and we will remain with 75%, um, which we are going to use on vehicle fuels. And with this, we will be able to sell some to other automobile industries and airlines industries too. With the flight time of our um, um, drones, we will not affect two hours business model of drones. In this case, we will take a uh, minimum of five hours for the drones to do its job. Comp competitive advantage. So I'm going to talk about the cost advances. So saving time. So India is an overpopulated country. Road traffic is a regular picture in every city. It's almost difficult to maintain. Cost maintain time with this drone, it would deliver and reduce delivery on time. Reduction on unnecessary supply chain staff and complications. So with this drone it would reduce staff and would make the work process faster and run more efficiently. Receiving real-time delivery of parts can save a valuable time and money in inventory. So save money on transportation 
So instead of sending transportation to deliver um, parts, which would take a lot of time, especially in a busy city like India, making it demanding for customers' needs, quick service and on-time delivery. Saving a lot of fuel costs. So in India, automobile car industry, as we are using hydrogen power, it will give us the opportunity to use less fuel. The risk will have positive impact on environment than others. So we will pollute the environment less than other automobile companies. It will give us the good relationship with other governments, environment people and being equal envi environment friendly, being zero emissions. Thank you. Yeah, uh, we look at it into the risk uh, in association with our new product in our new uh, project about the hydrogen, hydrogen fuel and uh, and the new technology with the drones. Okay, when we talk about uh, government regulations, uh, we, we mean uh, if, if, if there is any new regulation in India regarding drones, because for, for now it's still a new product, it's still a new technology, and uh, we're still having some problem to, to, to make sure that uh, it work efficiently. For example, uh, uh, in, in India, for now, for now, India, it can, it can fly a drone as long as you register with the authority and have your own unique identification number. Yeah. And uh, if, 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 any, if any problem regarding the government policy change, that means we will have a problem in our project. Uh, when we talk about the new technology, new technology, don't forget that we are building, we are building the new drones from scratch and we are also establishing a hydrogen fuel plant. Also, we are developing new software. All these things can be a time and uh, cost consuming. When you look about when you look about the uh, the time factor, we 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 are going to establish a, a, a hydrogen fuel plant in twenty nine states in India. All these things is time consuming and uh, and also cost. You have to spend a lot of money in the in this project. Inflation. When you talk about inflation, talk about the price. We talk about the price and uh, if 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 by by by. By mistake, if uh, in India, uh, if if the price of uh, if the price of commodities goes up, or if the price of uh, exchange exchange rate might change. Once the exchange rates change, it's gonna affect affect us. For now, our project, um, our current project, we did it uh, in a we, we 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 did this project with the current with the current uh, exchange rate, the lower cost and tax regulation. But we, we don't know in future how these things might change. The government might might decide to put a new poly, a, a new tax a new tax tariff uh, on drones because it's still for now it's still a new a new technology. And uh, all these things is just to for us to know because it can make the project or the supply chain network more expensive. We have to know about this risk. Uh, yeah, you have to look about the. About the skill, about the skill, about the about, about the, the the workers, is this 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 where we have a problem because normally currently, uh, Tata Motors are using van, are using trucks for their for their supply chain and transportation, which that which which for now they can they can employ any any uh, any driver as long as they have a a, a driver's license, uh, they can they can employ him and. Uh, he can, he can, it's, not, it's not a problem for them, but with this new technology, we need the high skill staff. So that means either we have to train them or we have to look, we have to look for a friend, staff that have a, have, a, have a knowledge in science and technology. All these things is a risk we have to, we have to overcome and we have to put in a perspective. Yeah, and another thing is that, another thing is that, uh, Another thing is that, uh, if, if you, for example, if you buy a car, you would like to know how it works, and also you need to license to run it. The same thing applies here. 
we read, we really need, we are, we, are, we are developing this technology, yes, but we still need time to train our new staffs so they can be able to know how to control drones and fly drones because it's not just ordinary van or truck to run the supply chain. All these things, normally, they, we, we need the high, high expertise to, do, to, to, take care, to take charge of this, uh, of, uh, of this sector. But, you know, never know, we see, because all these are the risks we are facing. But, okay, but in general, I would say, in general, I would say, in despite of having risk, those risks, it is still beneficial for Tata Motors to accept the, the drone technology because it, it's, it's very beneficial for Tata Motors to accept the technology, the drone technology in their supply chain network because we, because we, can, we, can, achieve, because we can achieve reliability competitiveness within the, within the industry, profit making, pollution reduction in India, customer relationship, and overall to build, to build a strong and efficient supply chain for Tata Motors. Thank you.